Now this is a story all about how MJ got his ass kicked by the boss at the last minute. Now he's going back to finish what he started. Uh... Actually, uh, <laughs> I work on that one. <laughs> hey, don't you mock my skills, bro. Of course not. I would never do that. But now a couple of robots are trying to tear down a the town. They're basically trying to fuck up your neighborhood. I start shooting shit so you can play the game. Like, oh my god, there we go. Yeah, okay, I lost the plot of my rapping. Yeah, you do. Shut up. You don't have to agree with me. In fact, you two should be encouraging me to grow as a hip hop artist. <laughs> no? You know what you should do is uh, come up with a hip hop Christmas song. Run DMC did it. So. You know, a follow their example. A Christmas rap song. I cannot imagine that. Run DMC did it. You you never heard like uh what was it called? Uh Christmas on Brooklyn or something? Nope. How dare you? I don't like rap! What do you want from me? It's in Die Hard, Jules. It is? Yes. You oh, should fuck me. I don't you should know that. Die Hard from like I know you've only seen half of it. Shut up! I've seen all of it. But, um, it's at the start of it, so... <laughs> now this is the story. All about it. Oh, yeah, Jay started shooting robots. <laughs> no, it's still not working. And that town hall is getting sh sh turned to shit, MJ. You should really hurry up. Honestly, uh, you want to get rid of those things beforehand. Oh, okay, so you're just going to let people tear down the tear down that uh, building. Okay, here's the thing. If I, like, I could take these guys out, they'll, they'll send more people in. Oh, okay. Okay, so just let it go up in flames then. Yeah, real cool. Nice, MJ. <laughs> Damn it. I think I might have to take it out anyways. Oh, no, he's... he's Got distracted with a street lamp. I'm trying to think of more songs I could work into this, you know, that aren't rap. Hmm. While I think of that, I noticed on something that really should have should have happened a long time ago, but probably won't turn out that good. Clint Eastwood's son Scott is finally starring in a western. Huh. He's way too pretty to be in that kind of world. I didn't know Clint Eastwood had a son he named Scott. He probably has a bunch of them. <laughs> All named Scott. Scott 1, Scott 2, <laughs> Scott 4. He skipped Scott 3. No, Scott, Scott 3 died in utero. <laughs> well, there's a Scott that he skips a number because, you know, he he didn't want people to get used to his naming <laughs> Excuse me, but uh, where's Scott 3? None of your business. <laughs> no, there is no Scott. You know, scariest part, seeing as how you just said... That I just tried to sound like Clint Eastwood there. Mm -hmm. If they tried to do uh, X-Men in the 1970s or 80s, they probably would have got uh, Clint Eastwood to be Wolverine. They tried at one point to get him to be James Bond. That would have been horrible. That, yeah, that would have... Uh, imagine Clint Eastwood trying to do a British accent. I mean, I, I, I like uh, Clint Eastwood, but, you know... Oh, I love Clint Eastwood, but... Uh, not a James Bond, I gotta say. Well, I mean, like any actor, it's like, you could be good, but there's roles you're made for and roles that you're not. Mm. That's one he's not. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> I totally agree. I really liked him in Gran Torino. You saw Gran Torino? Yeah, it was it was an okay movie. Really? You didn't like you just okay? Well, I mean I thought it was good. Eh. I liked how he manages to make racism funny. <laughs> boop, boop. Hmm might wanna censor that. Don't wanna be saying racist shit over uh, the internet. But yeah, because that's not new. Yeah, fair in point, but, you know. 
All right, MJ, come on. You can't let him kill you twice. Oh, if you think this boss is going to be bad. Oh, I don't like the way that sounds. No, the tree! He killed the tree. MJ, <laughs> slaughter him. Her. Whatever. It looks like... It doesn't look like missiles. It looks like someone is shooting old-timey milk bottles for babies <laughs> at you because you can see, like, the lines on the side of them. Like, like measuring how much <laughs> milk you're giving the baby. Oh, my God. Cut it out with the missiles. <laughs> it's because it knows it's on its last leg. MJ, come on. You've got... You've literally got a nub left. MJ, if you die, I'm going to... I'm going to slap you upside the head right now. <laughs> I am not even kidding. T try it. Yes! <laughs> Holy shit! Hey, this ain't easy. <laughs> I'm expecting like a like a punchline here. This ain't I'm easy, saying, but I'm I'm just saying this ain't easy. Oh, okay. Seriously, have I I already showed you the control <laughs> speed for this? <laughs> it is impressive that you were able to do that, considering what crap you have to deal with here. I mean, I'm not kidding you, people. It's R1 and L1 to turn around. Didn't continue play a few games like that. Uh, I think it was, it was the Crow game. Oh well, yeah, the Crow uses tank controls. Yet it's a beat up game. That's stupid. And the Evil Dead. The Evil Dead. Uh, well, tank controls were always a stupid. Mm. Speaking of the Evil Dead, I finally watched the first one. And it's very obvious that Sam Raimi was trying to make a serious horror movie and it came out goofy as fuck. I still need to see the first two. Um I would say look at it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the best thing ever, but you know. See here's the thing. When it comes to the uh second one, that's when he uh, apparently goes all goofy. <laughs> like, he straight up, like, and like sees that. It's like, you know what? I can make this funny. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a good thing, too, because it the first one was silly. Like, it really was. But Bruce Campbell... Bruce Campbell is... Bruce Campbell is fucking useless in the first movie. Like, despite him being, like, six foot tall and muscular and everything, like... It takes until, like, I'd say the last quarter of the film before he actually starts fighting back and not being a pussy, basically. Huh. I found that very shocking, considering up until that point, my only image of the man was him missing a hand and replacing it with a chainsaw. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's like a really different character from what he is with the rest of the movies. <laughs> you should see, uh, you should see it. Just to see that I'm not exaggerating at all. But he has an awesome voice. He does. But yeah, it. The... <laughs> wow, she sounded really enthusiastic. I'm good. Great. Like she wanted him dead. <laughs> yeah, Mega Man, you're great. You're alive. That's that's great. <laughs> that's fucking great, Mega Man. <laughs> now see. That just sounds like he's telling him to roll like a duck. Come on, boy. Roll over. <laughs> Mega Man, roll. Right now. <laughs> Still doesn't sound sincere <laughs> at all. We are really worried about you, Gramps. One voice acting for a game. <laughs> to be fair, this was probably like state of the edge. State of the art. State of the art. State of the Edge. You know what? I'm going to use that as a new word. <laughs> State of the Edge. <coughs> you having like a seizure over there or something, boy, or what? That was a goofy cough. Okay, as long as you're not sick and you're going to fucking infect me with something. Yes, I'm how it all started. <laughs> mm. But, as I was saying long before all of this came up, um, 
The movie definitely looks and feels like it's like it belongs with stuff like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the original Friday the Thirteenth, but it's too goofy. Yeah, it's too goofy to actually be a horror movie. And there's some questionable acting in it, just like all the other ones, but you know. Yeah. But one thing I will say with the Evil Dead is, uh, he, uh, Sam Raimi, uh, just went ahead and went all goofy, which, uh, I, I like that. Mm. I, I, st- I want to see the Evil Dead, too. Mostly because I really want to look at, uh, Ash versus Evil Dead. You were the one that told me about, uh, liking it. Yeah, it's really good, the new show. Mm. Good, I want to look at that. Although, if you want to watch, like, a uh, that original Evil Dead as, like, actually scary, mm-hmm. the uh, new remake movie... Ugh, I don't think I had the balls to watch that one, to be honest. You really should. It's... If you want, like, an actual horror movie based around the Evil Dead, that's the way to do it. Oh, man, like, I remember watching the Red, the Red Band trailer for it, and just... Being like sickened by what I saw, like the vomiting blood onto the chick or licking the licking the, the knife to yeah. cut your tongue. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can handle that movie. Or getting raped by a tree. Oof. That's uh, pretty goddamn brutal. I'm not gonna lie. Like. I'm a guy that likes his films, like, dark as hell, but horror can really push the boundaries of what I can handle. I'm not going to lie. But to be honest, it surprises me that you saw that one. doesn't seem like something you'd watch. Eh. Honestly, it's more because of the fact that there's all the other, like, Army of Darkness and all that. Now that one looks silly as hell. What is it? He travels back in time? Yeah. <laughs> Man, but... I tell you, that guy needs to just put his voice... To, we need more Bruce Campbell voice. <laughs> he I, uh, has an awesome voice. I saw him. He had a little cameo in the second season of Fargo where he played Ronald Reagan. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he was Ronald Reagan? That's awesome. Yeah, he, he really did a good job of it too. Even though, and I'm, I'm a very vocal minority in this, I did not like the second season of Fargo. Huh. Like, so you liked the second season of True Detective? Oh yeah. Yeah, you didn't like the second season of Fargo. Yeah, I'm going You're with the, the exact opposite of what everybody is saying, <laughs> basically. Um, I I will say that the second season of Fargo, its story was definitely more streamlined than the first one. But the first one was so dark. like, And it had Billy, Billy Bob Thornton in it, you know? Have and, you seen Bad Santa yet? No, I haven't. Oh god, you gotta see that. I'll get to it! You'll be watching it like in July or August. <laughs> I'll try and watch it like before the snow melts, okay? That would help. Yes. Oh, especially the scene where he's trying to have a lunch. <laughs> Still hungover and everything, trying to eat us or something. Yeah, I've kid, been told it's hilarious. The little kid goes, Santa, I wanna... I'm on my fucking break! <laughs> <laughs> and food is coming out of his mouth about... What is wrong with you? Oh my fucking brain! <laughs> come on, come on, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, okay. You you sold me that movie just on that scene, right? That there. and the fairy ending with a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, the t-shirt. Shit happens when you party naked. <laughs> I want that t-shirt. <laughs> I'm sure you could find that on the internet. <coughs> it is funny. Yeah, mm. it. <laughs> oh, that's right. You can't admit it because you've never seen it. Or if you would see it, you'd probably only see half of it. <sighs> Julie, you Julie. know, you're... A funny guy? Yes, I know. No, you Even need... your dad thought so in high school. Yeah. Well, not really, but you know. Uh, you, <laughs> you, need, you need new material. 
Who? You. Me? Yeah. Uh, no, no, you know how things go around, come around. Yeah, it doesn't mean you have to beat it to death, though. I disagree. <laughs> I agree to disagree. Fine. But at least start looking for new things to tack on to me as well. Why don't you bug you about your hair? Your movies? Oh, yeah, yeah but we can't say that over the... Uh... <laughs> yes, you better not fucking say that over the internet. Uh, see, I'm not going to, so that's what a nice guy that I am. You're welcome. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, the thing on course, the way... Of course, you buy me jujubes the last time we went to go, go to see Star Wars, but that's another subject there, folks. Um, uh, uh, yeah, remember uh, the uh, the raccoon hat thing from uh, Comic Con a few years ago? Yes, where you wanted to eat the roadkill. Yeah. And oh yeah, yeah. You turned it of... into me wanting a raccoon skin hat. You're the one that started that. Yeah. You're driving. You're the one going. Be really cool. Yeah. Here I am. Here's this voice <laughs> in the back of me. Going. No, it'd be really cool. Is if you hit a raccoon, and then I can make a hat out of it. It's like, we're going to a Comic Con. If you want to meet Julian Anderson, what, are you going to have this dead raccoon on your head? Yeah. That's going to impress her blood coming down. And you're going, oh, Julian Anderson. And it's like, that'll impress the girl going, wow, this guy is different. Uh, she was so hot and so nice. Are you excited for the uh, new X Files? No. Really? I mean, that those last five seasons and especially the last one no uh, yes. I, gonna, but they're having gonna, David Duchovny back yeah but I'm, I'm gonna watch it because the X-Files was good with him as a one hour show yeah because I always left a cl cliffhanger at the end mm. the movies didn't work because of that mm. there was a cliffhanger but it was kind of like <coughs> it, they made it so we'll it's explain like, it's like, it if we want to yeah, <laughs> they made it up to you kind of thing, going, oh, there could be UFOs or may not be. It may not be, or they could, there, there could be. It's like, well, what is the hell is it? It's like, don't, you know. Honestly, I'll probably watch it, but I'm so disillusioned. Like, I didn't even finish the last season. I couldn't get through it. Well, yeah, didn't the last three seasons have uh, the guy from, Term, from uh, Terminator 2 or something? Yeah, and he wasn't even the bad part. I like... Robert Patrick, but yeah, he actually he wasn't bad. Yeah, the but writing the I found show. was yeah, the writing was bad. They were just rehashing. The thing I hated about it most was they reduced Scully to basically being a worker monkey as opposed to someone who actually mattered in the show. Yeah, and it shouldn't be. They should be too equal. Yeah, exactly. It was just I I couldn't do it. It's amazing how these writers and these producers don't see that. It's like. So you can't share the limelight? Like, I know. Seriously, the main actor is so conceited that much that, no, no, bullshit. And when he was on the show, it was equal. That's the thing. So it's like, what the hell's the problem? Some new guy shows up and, no, I'm going to be the star. Sigh. It was bad. It's oh. Like, are you throwing a temper tantrum or what? These are the, that's too bad. You're sharing the limelight, buddy. Mm. Or honey. Get off your ass, Kanye West. Christ, stop yelling at these poor crippled people. Oh, my God. Uh, Damn it. MJ. Seriously, this boss is hard. You know that boss no, I was the, talking the to? The camera is really not helping. Yeah. I'm... He just mo he just ran you over with his tank. Yeah. Oh yeah, good luck. <laughs> wow, that was kind of kind of sending. Well, look at these two kissing. So hot. Actually, he just smacked him. <laughs> Closer woods. Huh. Trolls. Yeah. Are you insulting the name of their woods? Yes. Their sacred woods. Are they sacred? Yes. Jesus was there. <gasps> Jesus was in Closer Woods. But not not just Jesus, you think. It was some other Jesus. Maybe a Mexican guy named Jesus? <laughs> yeah, you know, at the same time, uh, Donald Trump would be having such a shit fit if he found out Jesus was a Mexican. 
I'm pretty sure he's one of those people who hasn't grasped the idea that Jesus wasn't a white guy either. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you want to know the, the origin of white Jesus? It's uh, like an image. Christianity noticed that there was a lot of white people <laughs> no. in their religion? No. The origin of, you know, the image of Jesus as like white, white, brown haired, hippie looking came when uh, Rodrigo Borgia was the Pope, Pope Alexander the Seventh? Question mark? And his son, Cesare Borgia, um, basically he had a portrait commissioned and of Jesus and they used Cesare as their model huh. for Jesus. That sound kind of sounds like something Pope Borgia would do. Yeah. yeah that guy that, was a dick. That guy... Yeah, he absolutely was a dick. He did, he did a few good things, though. He's a patron of the arts. He cleaned up Rome, and Rome was a shit town at that time. But, uh... Did a lot of uh, nasty things. Rumored to have had orgies in the Vatican, but then again, the clergy back then was very sexually active. Like, him, among other people, are fucking children, when they're not supposed to. Horrors. Everything. Like... Didn't they have that on the, uh... show where it's like, you know, he would he'd be like, oh, I, I, I can't have sex with you, honey, anymore, because, you know, we have to remain celibate. But it's like, what if they make you take a... <laughs> Uh, was it, what if they make you take a, uh, vow of abstinence? It's like, God forbid. <laughs> I haven't watched that whole show, though. I probably should. Man, that show makes me so sad. They canceled it on its third season, and the next one would have been the last one, because the Tudors was about four seasons as well, and Borgias was so much better. Jeremy Irons says friggin' Rodrigo Borgia, man. Oh. <laughs> Credits. Mega Man Legends. Starring MMMMMMMJ Martel as Player One. And. You make it sound like at the start for Bill Nye. Bill Nye. Bill, Bill, Bill Nye, the science, science guy. guy. Bill, 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 Bill! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now seriously, this is the end. <laughs> Bye!